Hi guys, my name is Philip, and you're watching my week seven assignment and my final assignment for the introduction to music production on Coursera.org. Today I'll be talking a little bit about synthesis and how uh, it works on the Roland JDXI synthesizer, uh, specifically the part at the analog synth that comes uh, with the synthesizer so how the oscillator works, how the filter section works, how the uh, LFO section works, and how the amplifier envelope section work. So uh, let's take a closer look. I, I hope you're going to enjoy this. OK. So the analog synth section uh, is comprised of four elements. It has the oscillator. It has the filter, which is a low-pass filter, an analog low-pass filter. Then we have the amplifier envelope. Uh, and then we have the low-frequency oscillator, which we can route to pitch, filter, and the amplifier envelope. So the destination and control the depth and the rate. And then we have a filter section uh, or a effects, uh, sorry, uh, we have an effects section. Um, which is a digital effects section. So the analog part is the analog oscillator and the analog filter, low pass filter. So let's take a closer look on each of these elements and how they sound. So the oscillator part has three different wave types or waveforms. Um, the sawtooth, the triangle, and the uh, square. We can control, so let's hear the, how they sound. And on the square wave, uh, we can control uh, the width, the width of the square or the width of the of the sound. Um, and if we want to create the just the basic uh, sine wave, we go to the triangle and then use the filter. Uh, cut off to produce the sine sound. Okay, so the filter section has uh, the cutoff frequency, which we can adjust, and the analog uh, synthesizer has the only the low pass filter, and we can adjust the resonance. So let's hear how how this sounds. Then we have the M amplifier envelope section where we can uh, adjust the level of the sound, turn it off completely, and where we can adjust the, the way uh, this uh, amplifier is connected uh, to, the, to the way the sound reacts when we hit the, hit the key. So just a regular note on the envelope set, set up straight produces a straight tone and when we go to the left it has a more percussive with a, a very sh a short attack and a very short sustain level and then we when we go move to the right it has the opposite it has a very long attack and a very long release and a sustain level And finally, we have the low frequency oscillator section where we can choose uh, the type of the wave of the low frequency oscillator, the rate, and the depth. So let's hear how this sounds. If we select it to, to the pitch, it has an impact on the pitch. If we select it to the filter, it has an impact on the filter. And if we select it to the amplifier, it has an effect on the amplifier. And then we can choose various, various low frequency oscillator forms. I hope that you found 
this video useful and that you learned something about synthesis and how the Roland JDX site works. Um, thank you for watching and until next time.